Hey everyone! Welcome to Radical Farming, where we dive into game-changing practices that will help you run a more efficient and sustainable farm. Are you ready to revolutionize the way you feed your livestock, all while reducing waste and creating a closed-loop farming system? If you've been curious about raising black soldier fly larvae for your animals, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'll take you through a simple but powerful step-by-step -step guide to hatch black soldier fly larvae from commercially available eggs. Trust me, once you see how easy and effective this process is, you'll wonder why you didn't start sooner. These little larvae are amazing. Black soldier flies are nature's perfect recyclers, capable of turning food waste and organic materials into a high-protein feed for your chickens, fish, or even reptiles. Not only will you reduce the cost of buying feed, but you'll also help recycle farm waste and create a more sustainable system. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to get started with your very own batch of BSF larvae, and you'll be on your way to making your farm more efficient and eco-friendly. Before we dive into the details, if you're excited to learn how to boost your farming practices and reduce costs with black soldier fly larvae, take a moment to smash that like button, subscribe to Radical Farming, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future tips and tutorials. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is obtain black soldier fly eggs. You can find these eggs from a variety of trusted online sellers, so make sure you're buying from a reputable source. Always check the reviews and ratings of the seller to ensure you're getting high quality, fresh eggs. Freshness is key here, old or improperly stored eggs may not hatch as expected, and that could throw off your entire project. When the eggs arrive, you'll notice they usually come in a small, secure container. Carefully inspect the packaging to ensure everything looks good before proceeding. This is an important step because well-preserved eggs will give you the best chances for a successful hatch. Got your eggs? Great! If you're already feeling more confident about this process, let me know by hitting that like button. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to Radical Farming and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming content on how to improve your farming efficiency. Your support makes a big difference. Now, let's talk about preparing your hatching bin. You'll need a suitable container where the eggs can hatch safely. Any bin will do, whether it's plastic, wood, or metal, as long as it's big enough to hold the eggs and the substrate where the larvae will grow. Make sure the bin has good ventilation because airflow is important for keeping the eggs healthy and ensuring a successful hatch. For the substrate, we're going to use chicken manure. Why chicken manure? Because it's nutrient rich and provides the larvae with everything they need to grow quickly. It's also something most farmers have on hand, so it's a cost effective choice. You can also use other organic materials like vegetable scraps or even coffee grounds. But today we'll focus on chicken manure as it's one of the best options available for BSF larvae. Now that you have your bin and manure ready, it's time to prepare the substrate. This is one of the most critical steps in the process. You need to get the moisture level just right. If the substrate is too dry, the larvae won't thrive. If it's too wet, you risk drowning the eggs or causing mold and spoilage. So, here's what you do. Add water to the chicken manure and mix it well until the consistency is moist, but not soggy. You're aiming for a damp sponge-like texture. When you squeeze the manure, a little water should come out, but it shouldn't be dripping wet. This balance is essential, because black soldier fly larvae need moisture to thrive, but too much water can lead to issues. Once you've got the consistency right, spread the manure evenly across the bottom of the bin. This will serve as the base for the larvae once they hatch. Make sure the surface is smooth and level so that the eggs can rest on it evenly. Quick tip, if you find the substrate is too wet after mixing, don't worry, just add a bit more dry chicken manure to balance it out. On the other hand, if it's too dry, add a little more water until you reach the desired consistency. Now that we've got the perfect substrate, let's move on to the next exciting step, unpacking your black soldier fly eggs. If you're getting value from this tutorial so far, why not give us a thumbs up? And if you haven't already, now's a great time to subscribe to Radical Farming and hit that bell icon for notifications. We have more content on sustainable farming coming your way soon. When unpacking your black soldier fly eggs, be extra careful. 
The eggs are small and delicate, and they're usually packed in a protective container to prevent damage during shipping. Slowly open the package and be mindful not to drop or damage the eggs. Once you have the eggs unpacked, it's time to place them on the substrate. This step is important because you don't want the eggs to come into direct contact with the moist manure. If they do, there's a risk of spoilage. To avoid this, you can place a small piece of paper or cardboard on top of the manure, then gently place the eggs on top of that. This barrier will prevent the eggs from getting too wet, but it will still allow the larvae to make their way into the manure once they hatch. Make sure the eggs are evenly spaced out to give the larvae plenty of room to move and grow when they emerge. Once the eggs are placed on the substrate, you'll need to protect them from pests. A mosquito net works great for this. Simply cover the entire bin with the net to keep out unwanted insects, especially common houseflies, which could contaminate your substrate with their own eggs. Make sure the net is securely fastened to avoid any gaps where insects could sneak in. Now that the eggs are safe and secure, we enter the waiting phase. Over the next seven days, you'll notice the tiny larvae emerging from the eggs and making their way down into the substrate. During this period, it's important to maintain the moisture level of the manure. If the substrate starts to dry out, lightly mist it with water to keep it damp, but don't overdo it. You want to keep that damp sponge-like consistency we talked about earlier. The larvae will grow quickly as they feed on the nutrient-rich chicken manure. In just a week, you'll have a bin full of healthy, active black soldier fly larvae. These larvae can then be used as a protein-packed feed source for your chickens, fish, or other livestock. If you've made it this far, congratulations! You're now well on your way to raising black soldier fly larvae on your own farm. Let me know in the comments how your larvae are doing once they hatch, and feel free to ask any questions you might have. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to Radical Farming for more content like this. And of course, click the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. And that's it.